Hi, and welcome to the cleaning job schedule tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how you can quickly and efficiently schedule your cleaning staff and ensure that they always have the most updated shift information straight in their pockets. To begin, click on the job schedule on the left sidebar menu and access your schedule. The first thing you'll see is a simple to use calendar board with the users on the left and the dates on the top. Each block represents a shift and each color represents a job or a client in our case. In addition, the schedule is filled with visual indications to help you understand your day to day. For instance, for each user, you can see their total hours and shifts, and you can also see the total hours, shifts, and users for each day. You can also easily see if a user has accepted a shift or rejected it. You can see if a user is unavailable and the reason for it, and you can even see specific conflicts. For example, if a user has overlapping shifts so that you can resolve it, or say if a user has exceeded their weekly hourly limit. Depending on how you like to view your schedule, you can utilize the daily, weekly, or monthly view, or you can view by users or view by jobs. The view by jobs is especially useful for cleaning companies as you can ensure that each client is covered on your different days. To schedule your employees, all that you need to do is click on the plus button for a specific day and you can start filling out everything your employees need to know. You can put in a shift title to help you categorize your shifts, the start and end times. You can decide what user should do that shift or create an open shift that your employees can claim and decide how many spots should be available. You can add a location. You can even add a specific note, such as the front code to the house. Now, let's repeat the shift from Monday to Friday and save the shift as a draft. And there we go, we've created a shift for our client for the whole week. To dispatch the shifts, all that I need to do is to jump to the view by users view. And now I can begin my dispatching. If I wish, I can also create shifts from this view for specific employees. I can create multiple shifts at once or import shifts from Excel. On the right side, I can also utilize shift templates that I've created for quick scheduling or I can click on the three dots on the top right of a shift and just duplicate it. By clicking on the action button at the top right, I have additional tools at my disposal, such as the ability to copy the previous week, clear a week, unpublish a week, add an availability to my users, or save the week as a template, and then the ability to load it onto an empty week. Finally, let's switch hats for a moment and see how it looks from a user's perspective. As a user, to access my schedule, I can click on the Quick Actions button at the top. Here I can see all of my shifts that have been assigned to me, and if my manager has allowed it, I can see my colleagues' shifts as well. By clicking on my shift, I have all the information that I need. I can see the start and end times, the location, the client I'm assigned to, any special instructions, and again, depending on the manager settings, I can also perform specific shift related actions and communicate with the manager who published the shift. We hope you found this tutorial helpful and thank you for watching.